I call this meeting of the Williamsburg James City County School Board to order. May I please have a motion to certify closed session? Madam Chair, I certify that to the best of each member's knowledge, the Williamsburg James City County School Board, while in closed session, discuss only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements as stated in Virginia law, and that only such public matters as were identified in the motion convening the closed session, closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Can I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mrs. Young. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no, will you call the roll, Ms. Serza, please? Ms. Ownby? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Closed session has been certified. Um, next, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. In honor of the importance of a free press in our democratic society, I'd like to ask Amelia Heyman to come up and lead us in the pledge. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. <laughs> I guess I should have clarified that Ms. Heyman is a reporter with our local newspaper. Okay. With that, Ms. Sosa, will you call uh, attendance, please? Dr. Beers. Ms. Hummel. Here. Mr. Kelly. Here. Ms. Ownby. Here. Mrs. Taylor. Here. Mrs. Young. Here. Ms. Cook. Here. Um, may I have a motion to approve the agenda? Madam Chair, I move approval of the agenda as presented. Uh, thank you. Can I have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, you call the roll, Ms. Serza? Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Ownby. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Thank you. That brings us to announcements and superintendent's report. Dr. Heron. Good evening, Madam Chair. Uh, this week we welcomed nearly, nearly 130 highly qualified teachers to the WJCC family. New teacher orientation began Monday and I had the opportunity to speak to many of our new teachers. I want to point out that although these teachers are new to us, Many of them have experience in other divisions. Between the experience of the veterans and the enthusiasm of the first year teachers, we are sure to start the school year on a high note. And speaking of uh, kicking off the school year, just a reminder that the first day of school is two weeks from today. I'd like to encourage parents to share their back to school photographs with us on social media using the hashtag WeAreWJCC and be sure to tag us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at WJCC Schools. Finally, I would like to invite families and members of the public to a community open house at James Blair Middle School. The Care Naval is scheduled for Monday, August 27th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. There will be food and activities for students. Guests will also be able to walk through the school to see the amazing learning spaces available to our students. We will be collecting school supplies uh, donations during the Carnival for distribution to students throughout the school division. This is just another example of the many ways our schools and community partner together to support young people. More information about the event is on the school division website. Madam Chair, that completes my announcements for this evening. Thank you, Dr. Heron. Does anyone else have any announcements? Okay. Hearing none, that brings us to citizens' comments. And if I understand, we do not have any speaker cards. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Um, that brings us to the consent agenda, which is 6.01, approval of the minutes from the uh, August 7th, 2018 meeting, 6.02, financial report and monthly bills and payroll for July 2018, and 6.03, personnel actions as presented. May I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move approval of the consent agenda as presented tonight. Thank you. A second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Ownby. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Thank you. That brings us to our other action items, starting with 7.01 Special Education Advisory Committee Bylaws. Can I have a motion, please, before we go into discussion? Madam Chair, I move that we uh, approve the Special Education Advisory Committee Bylaws 
changes. Thank you. Can I have a second, please? Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, before we go into discussion, I'd like to ask Ms. Hummel to kind of remind us um, our, about our previous discussion and how we got to where we are. And, and sure. So we, can take action on um, that. we discussed the bylaw changes last week. Um, and what came up was just, I'm trying to find the lines that we were talking about. The section on. Um, I think it was line 190. 190, thank you. Okay, 90, I'm getting there. Scrolling up there, okay. It was on conflict of interest. Yeah, here we go. It was on conflict of interest and there was a lot of um, discussion about the exact verbiage that we had in section D. And so we um, sent this portion to our attorney who reviewed it and recommended the following verbiage, that members will avoid voting on any matter in which the member has a conflict of interest in accordance with policy BCF section 7. Um, <clears throat> the way it's written uh, means that policy BCF is is kind of the overarching policy of how the school board um, and the school system deals with conflict of interest in our other committees. And so um, this way, it follows the policy. Whatever that policy BCF is, the SEAC committee will follow that policy. Thank you, Ms. Hummel. Are there any, is there any other discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, uh, it, the motion's been made and seconded. Ms. Sosa, will you call the roll, please? Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. <coughs> Aye. Ms. Ownby. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. The motion passes. Um, I, before we move on to the next item, I just wanted to thank the SEAC committee um, for their work on this. And they're represented tonight here by their chair, Julie Cullifer and their vice chair, Chris Swosky, did I say that correctly? And uh, uh, two other members. So I just wanted to thank you all for being here for and your work here to to bring uh, the bylaws to this point. So thank you very much. Okay, that brings us to 7.02, authorization to permit city county school, uh, use of city county school buses. Can I get a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move to authorize the superintendent or superintendent's designee to approve requests from the city of Williamsburg and James City County to use school buses through September 30th, 2019. Thank you. Can I get a second? Second. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Sirza, will you call the roll, please? Ms. Ownby. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Okay, that passes. That brings us to 7.03, approval of the fiscal year 2020 budget calendar. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move we approve the fiscal year 2019-2020 budget calendar. You can have a second. Second. Is there any discussion? Questions? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Ownby. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. That passes. That brings us to 8.01 board members' comments and requests. Dr. Beers, do you have anything today? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, actually, I, I don't. I just uh, I, I uh, look forward to the new school years. I hope um, staff and uh, teachers and, and uh, students um, <coughs> as well. And being a summer birthday person myself, for all of those students, teachers, uh, staff who have birthdays, who have had birthdays during the summer um, and they don't get to celebrate in a school, I want to wish all of you a very happy birthday. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, Dr. Beers. Mr. Kelly. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Snipes and, uh, and uh, Mr. Weaver and others for giving me the remedial tour of Blair yesterday. I was only able to make the school board tour uh, from a couple of weeks ago, so they were nice enough to walk me through the facility yesterday. Um, it is really an exceptional facility, a really nice facility, something I think this community is going to be very proud of. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the, how the teachers 
use the collaborative space and how that how that matures as this, as the year goes through. Um, so uh, I know they got a temporary certificate of occupancy this morning. So the so people were able to get into the school. Uh oh, maybe not. <laughs> um, but uh, when you, you know, when, as you walk around the school, there's, there's a lot of minor details that need to be smoothed and completed. Um, it might look like a lot of work, and it is kind of a lot of work, but I'm sure that, that there will, we'll have no problem getting what needs to be done before uh, school starts completed. So I'm very, very, very impressed with the facility and, have, and thank uh, Mr. Snipes for the tour. And I'm um, looking forward to convocation on Friday. So uh, it's going to be uh, the, you know, the start of the school year, and those activities start kicking off. It's an exciting time. So. Uh, Looking forward to it. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Keller. Mrs. Young, uh, I want to ditto the happy birthday to all of the summer birthdays. I'm one of those. Unfortunately, if you were in school, you would not be allowed to have a cupcake, so I hope you had plenty. Uh, that, that would be, I would want one of those. Um, but I had the opportunity today to be over at Lafayette High School um, uh, walking with a parent about visiting. This, uh, her uh, children are going to go to Lafayette, I can see many, many teachers there already uh, working, um, preparing their classroom, and I want to thank them for, they do not get paid for these days, they, tomorrow, unless they're uh, new teachers, but they're uh, teachers that are already on staff, and they are there already, and I want to compliment them on their dedication, and uh, go Rams. That's all I have to say. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Young. Mrs. Taylor? To our students, enjoy the next two weeks, and to our teachers and staff, um, best wishes. I'm preparing for another great school year. Thank you. Ms. Hummel. I um, would like to talk a little bit about James Blair, because I just came from my work, and um, I work at the College of William and Mary, and we had our honor code signing ceremony at Wren Chapel, and our dean gave a very nice talk about the history of William and Mary, and he talked about James Blair. So I just thought, if no one knows this information, that James Blair was the man that spent at least six trips back and forth in the late 1600s going from Virginia to London to work on the charter of William and Mary and worked on securing the funding for William and Mary. Um, so he worked with King William and <laughs> Queen Mary and then Queen Anne uh, later, I guess, to actually secure all the funding, the charter, everything, and then came back to um, Virginia and served as the president for life of William and Mary. He was William and Mary's first president and he served for 50 years. So I just um, want to say I've lived here a long time and didn't know those, uh, that nice little trivia about James Blair. So I think it's really fitting that we named the school after James Blair originally and now that we renamed the school James Blair. So and I think James Blair would be really happy. And I'm sure he saw a lot of spiders on those voyages back <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, that's my comment. Mm -hmm. Don't be. Yes, well, there's definitely a buzz in our buildings and wanted to welcome back our athletes and our marching band students who've already been back to practices since July 30. Um, I know that our golf team's already halfway through their season. The football teams have already had scrimmages and I know the athletes are, are kicking off uh, games this week. So while we're not in school, um, our athletes have been hard at work for the last few weeks. Um, I too had an opportunity to attend the new teacher orientation for just a few minutes and got to welcome them and it was exciting to see um, everyone who's eager to come and be a part of this phenomenal division. I'm looking forward to convocation as well. Thank you. Does anyone have anything else to add? After hearing? That brings us to upcoming events. Uh, as every, a couple people mentioned already, on a Friday morning, uh, the 24th at 7.30 a.m. at the Williamsburg Community Chapel, we have convocation. And then James Blair Middle School Open House that Dr. Heron talked about on the 27th of August from 5 to 7 at James Blair Middle School. And then a de the dedication of James Blair Middle School on September 12th at 6 p.m. also at James Blair Middle School. And uh, that brings us to 9.02 upcoming meetings. In September, we have uh, the first day of school on September 4th at 6 p.m. in the annex. We have a closed session followed by a work session and action items at 6.30 in room 300 of the annex. 
And then on the 18th of September at 6 p.m., we go into closed session here in Building, building F, um, and then followed at 6.30 with a, a, a regular meeting. If there's nothing else, we're adjourned. Asked.